morning. Welcome you all uh, to Hyderabad. Joel Starr, the Deputy Assistant Secretary, Bureau of Political Military Affairs, U.S. Department of State. So, with a surname like that, I don't, I don't know. I mean, your surname Starr, so that's possibly the best inheritance, you know. Um, Joel Reifman, the Consul General, U.S. Consulate in Hyderabad. I'm glad you've chosen Hyderabad, uh, you know, for this event. As um, Consul General Reifman pointed out, Hyderabad happens to be one of the largest and one of the most strategic locations in India, especially with respect to defense and aerospace industries. I'm glad that um, U.S. Consul General here has always been um, extremely helpful, extremely active when it comes to strategic trade and bilateral engagements. Thank you, Joel, and your entire team, in fact, uh, for making several of such events happen right here in Hyderabad, ranging from the Global Entrepreneurship Summit to many, many events such as the U.S.-India defense ties that is being held today. I'm also glad, uh, Joel Starr, that uh, the U.S. administration has chosen to engage directly at the state level, not only at Delhi's level, Washington and Delhi, of course, continue to remain engaged, continue to remain um, <clears throat> extremely uh, friendly at the president and prime minister's level, at the level of ministers, at the level of uh, you know, the secretary of state. But I'm also delighted that you've chosen to engage with several states across our country. This, this I believe, is extremely important in strengthening not just uh, you know, a larger policy level engagement uh, at the capital level, but also defense manufacturing capacity building, which are already you know, existing in several locations, both in India and also in the United States. India is a federal country, a federal republic, as we all know, and has a lot of progressive states, which offer the best ecosystem for industrial partnerships, and Telangana, of course, I would like to believe, leads from the front. As many of you may be aware, Telangana is the fastest growing state in India, almost uh, you know, with a 14% GSDP growth rate as of 2018 and 19. This year, we may have slowed down a bit, you know, but I think um, good times are right around the con corner. Telangana is also uh, the top state in India when it comes to the ease of doing business rankings given jointly by the World Bank and the Government of India. We've topped the charts two years in a row. As Consul General uh, Reifman pointed out, our unique industrial policy, called the TSI Pass, is rated among one of the best in the country. In fact, I have to uh, share with you a story um, with respect to TSI Pass. We've launched it five years back, and uh, as part of my job, um, I travel the world. I also travel to the United States a couple of times. And uh, when, I went, when I met with uh, uh, one of the chairmen of the la largest consulting companies in the world, KPMG, this was about three years ago. And when I explained to him the salient features of the TSI Pass, and when I told him a defense company coming in from the United States into India, and specifically to Telangana, will not require any clearance from the government. If they have a piece of land, they can start construction on day one, start constructing their factory on day one. And when I told him that this process is called self-certification, he was amused. And then when I told him we give all clearances in less than 15 days, and this is empowered by statute, he was impressed. And then I also added that the legendary Indian red tape bureaucracy has bitten the dust in Telangana, and in fact, if we do not deliver on the 15-day promise, on the 16th day we have the ability to actually levy penalties and fines to the tune of rupees 1,000 per day if you hold up a clearance. He was amazed. When I told him that this possibly is one of the best policies in the country, that is India, he said, well, this possibly is one of the best in the world because no state in the United States also told me this. So let me tell you, five years later, after TSI pass has been uh, uh, passed in our state legislature, we've not only come out with a good policy that talks, we also have come out with a good policy that works. As was pointed out by Consul General Reifman, the largest office spaces of Amazon in the world, a 3.1 million square foot building, was approved in less than 11 days. And as was also pointed out by Consul General Reifman, Micron Technologies, when they were looking for a strategic location to set up their research and development and engineering center, center of excellence, it was all done you know, from you know, scratch to finish in less than a year. So that goes to show you 
the ability of a state to step up, to bring in reforms, to work with the industry, to engage with investors globally, to understand their needs, and lower and reduce the barriers when it comes to entering a state or a country. We believe aerospace and defense is, has got more potential. As was pointed out by Joel Starr, it is 16 billion now, 16 billion now, but I do believe that this is just the beginning. There's a lot more to be done. As part of that, let me also bring you up to speed on the strength of Hyderabad and Telangana as a state. Hyderabad has historically been a very strong defense manufacturing ecosystem. With more than, um, you know, a dozen DRDO labs, which is what India's, uh, you know, national defense labs, and a lot of defense PSU establishments set up here decades ago. We also have, as a result of these labs, a strong private, ecosystem, private, private sector industry with more than 25 large companies and more than 1,000 MSMEs in aerospace and defense sector. Aerospace and defense ecosystem in Telangana has witnessed unprecedented growth in the past five years. The role of U.S. OEMs in developing the aerospace and defense industry in Hyderabad is extremely significant. In a short span of time, the state ecosystem has attracted large investments from United States OEMs such as Lockheed Martin, Boeing, GE, Pratt & Whitney, Honeywell, Collins Aerospace, etc. For example, Lockheed Martin first started manufacturing the C-130 empennages uh, from Hyderabad. Their entire factory, I'm told, was built in 11 months and production started in about 13 months. They found the ease of establishing their factory in Hyderabad much smoother and faster than any of their other production sites across the world. Today, the fuselage of U.S. presidential helicopters, Sikorsky, are made in Hyderabad. Lockheed had recently started the production of F-16 wings from Hyderabad. Subject to correction, of course. I see William looking at me. Tata Lockheed Martin is looking at doubling its capacity and expanding further in Hyderabad. The fact that Lockheed chose to bring such prestigious projects one after another in close succession indicate the confidence they have in the ecosystem in India and more particularly in Hyderabad and in Telangana. Another aspect to highlight is that the entire manufacturing is export-oriented. So it's not just make in India for India, for India's needs, but this is making in India for the world, which is where I think this ecosystem and this uh, industry has a lot to offer. It is not just the current manufacturing in Hyderabad, is not just linked to any offset or supply to Indian forces. This shows that Hyderabad has evolved as a preferred low-cost manufacturing ecosystem for global production. The real Make in India in Defense programs, successfully demonstrated by Lockheed, has attracted several other U.S. OEMs, such as Boeing, to establish their factories in Hyderabad. Aerostructures for Apache, Boeing Apache, attack helicopters and Chinook helicopters are built and exported from Hyderabad. To take another example, when GE initially decided to establish their engine manufacturing plant in Asia, they could initially think only of Japan or Korea to, that have the skill base to support complex manufacturing involved in the aero engines. However, when they started the GE aero engine facility in Hyderabad eventually, they could easily find highly skilled talent available locally. Their production started in record time also and is currently running well ahead of planned schedule. Today, we have leading OEMs such as Raytheon, BAE Systems, Collins Aerospace, Honeywell, etc., sourcing critical components and subsystems from Hyderabad-based local industries. Global aviation majors have also established their technology development, engineering, and R&D centers in Hyderabad. Among strategic Indian players, Tata Group has significantly large operations in Telangana and currently runs over 90% of their aerospace manufacturing from our city, Hyderabad. Other leading defense majors, such as the Adani Group and Kalyani Group, also have established their various aerospace and defense projects in Telangana. In terms of infrastructure, we have four dedicated aerospace parks in Hyderabad and 50 general engineering parks, which are provided with high quality infrastructure for precision and engineering industry. We have in Adi Butler, an aerospace SEZ, 
which has come out to be a strong cluster, which has developed in, uh, emerged into a strong cluster. Also, in Nadargul Aerospace Park and in the GMR Aerospace SEZ, which is uh, attached to the Hyderabad International Airport, and also Adani Aerospace Park, which has come up recently. A large number of aerospace and defense firms are also operating from the various electronics manufacturing clusters, hardware parks, technology parks, and SEZs catering to the aerospace and defense sector. We are creating two more aerospace and defense parks to meet the increasing demand in our state. Let me also remind you that skilled workforce is an extremely important component of this industry, of this high-tech industry. Availability of abundant supply of highly skilled and industry-ready workforce has been a significant differentiator for Hyderabad. To make world-class skilling accessible at affordable rates, the state government has partnered with global institutions such as Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Cranfield University, and AeroCampus Aquitaine to offer need-based aerospace and defense certification courses in Hyderabad at relatively affordable cost. Training support for new industries is also provided through state-run skilling agency called as the Task Telangana Academy for Skill and Knowledge. The government is also planning to establish a world-class aerospace university in Telangana very shortly. I invite U.S. defense majors and their training partners to be part of this initiative to create a large pool of skilled manpower for your own factories as well as for your local supply chain partners. Government of Telangana has also focused on innovation in a big way and has established several novel institutions to support innovation and startup ecosystems catering to major sectors including aerospace and defense. T-Hub is India's largest technology incubator, which is a state government initiative. T-Hub has partnered with leading U.S. OEMs such as Boeing, Pratt & Whitney, Collins Aerospace, etc., to promote and accelerate innovation in aerospace and defense industry. Boeing Horizon X and Boeing Build programs both were jointly hosted by T-Hub and Boeing. Government of Telangana is also coming up with T-Works, India's largest prototyping center for electronics, electromechanical, and mechanical startups. In fact, recently, T-Works has test fired a, 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 you know, an indigenously made UAV for Indian needs and for, for the growing needs of our industry. With cutting edge infrastructure and spread over 250,000 square feet of space, T-Works can facilitate more homegrown aerospace and defense hardware startups. State government has also launched what is called as RICH, the Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad, for bringing research work from top scientific research institutions, such as the Defense Labs and PSUs also, to market. Aerospace and defense, of course, is a priority sector for Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad. Various centers of excellence in aerospace and defense are also coming up in the state in partnership with industry. Thus, when it comes to aerospace and defense industry, there's no better ecosystem in India than that is offered by Telangana. I would once again urge the U.S. government agencies to directly engage more with progressive state governments like Telangana. Your industries, which have already chosen our ecosystem, we will continue to, of course, um, you know, promote and support all of their initiatives and all of their issues. And in fact, one of the things I keep mentioning whenever I meet, um, whenever, whenever I meet top leadership managements of various industry majors, I keep telling that, that when, when you have a state as a partner, such as Telangana, to represent your issues in Delhi, to champion your issues in Delhi, to advocate and to be a pleader for you in Delhi, it will make your job easier. So when you have a state as a partner, when you have a state working with you to champion the industry cause, it only makes your job and our job easier. I appreciate U.S. Consul General in Hyderabad to take you know, this wonderful initiative, on taking this wonderful initiative to organize such an important conference in Hyderabad. But I do hope, Joel, that you will continue to host it in Hyderabad and not move it elsewhere in India. Once again, thank you very much, and I hope uh, you have uh, successful deliberations over the course of the next couple of days. Thank you.